Originally, according to the dictionary, a douchebag was a bag filled with liquid used in the process of vaginal irrigation for medical or hygienic reasons. Usually, the bag was filled with vinegar and water, leaving a woman's private parts smelling like salad dressing. This kind of douching was very popular in the 1920s to the 1950s, but doctors have since found that the practice leads to serious health problems. So few women do it anymore. None of which explains how the term douchebag went from being part of a woman's sanitary device to describing these assholes. The Urban Dictionary defines a douchebag as someone who has surpassed the levels of jerk and asshole, however not yet reached fucker or motherfucker. That's pretty vague, because one person's jerk or asshole is another person's motherfucker. Yet identifying douchebags is easy for the general public. What's harder is douchebags realizing that they are, in fact, douchebags. So, to help, here are a number of signs to help you determine if you are, in fact, a douchebag. Here we go. You might be a douchebag if you call people bro and you're not related. You've ever said bros before hoes or given a high five when it's been said to you. You give high fives. Every woman who isn't into you is a bitch. You talk sports to people not interested in sports. You post shirtless selfies. You've ever said chillax. You wear tank tops outside of the house. You actually buy tank tops. Handshake hugs. You give them. You frequently drop quotes from Anchorman. You have intricately shaved patterns in your hair or beard. You body wax. Your shirts would more properly fit a small child. You've asked your girlfriend to get implants. Porsche keychain, Honda hatchback. You believe lesbians just haven't had you yet. You use words like punani. Your skin is never the color of skin. In every picture, you're making jackals, sometimes matched with obnoxious tongue. You classify your friends as your boys. In places where music is playing, you mouth the lyrics to songs while people are talking to you. You never miss an opportunity to share your abs. Your home has a poster of Scarface. You have a chain attached to your wallet. You proudly state that you're a conservative, though you know nothing about politics. You have more than one picture on Facebook of you and or friends chugging beer. You lack the dexterity to fasten shirt buttons. You aren't native, but have a tattoo of your spirit animal, most commonly a wolf. Well, with a date, you've ever thought, this cock won't suck itself. Triple points if you've said it out loud. Hair gel. Your Facebook photo gallery is loaded with pictures of people giving the finger. You tell your girlfriend which of her friends is hot. You also tell her her mother is hot. You tell your girlfriend you'd like to see her with other women, then consistently point out which ones. And finally, you may be a douchebag if you wear this hat. Hey, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. Press the button.